Hello, snow runners, and welcome back to the show. So, I uh, haven't made it nearly as far as I wanted to by this weekend, um, but that's all right because here we're here now. So, we're gonna do some stuff. I decided we are gonna get this local entertainment garbage out of the way. Um, I know we also had this drowned highway truck over here across from the farm, which will be a quick and easy, probably a 10 minute job at the most. But I'm going to go ahead and get this local entertainment garbage out of the way. So we're going to start tracking. And I know it takes us all the way up here and we got to climb these stupid mountains or whatever. Um, again, I'm really not looking forward to this at all. But. It has to be done, right? And I want to complete everything over here before we move over to Smithville. And this is one of the three things left that are specific to only Black River. There's another job, uh, as we've spoken of, uh, not that one, the not a drill job. Yes, most of this one happens in Black River. Uh, we got to get metal beams to the drilling site and a uh, construction rig semi-trailer which is that big monster son of a gun that's over here but there is one that says bloop, bloop, gateway to smithville dam is where it sends us for this oil rig drill so i'm not considering this a black river specific job because it clearly spans two maps not one so i i'm not counting it as one of the three black river specific jobs that i got to get out of the way before heading over to smithville so anyway, that said, uh, we're already in our Chevy. It's already got 80 liters of fuel. It's, it's ready to go. Um, it's got the worst gearbox possible for gas mileage. I think, guys, before we do this, because I don't know, this just seems like a bad idea if this thing is hungry. I want to make sure it ain't rocking the V8. Okay, it's not. It's, it's still rocking the six-cylinder. I think I'm going to leave the SnowRunner gearbox in it. Because it shows, uh, you know, every one of them damn flags is on top of a mountain. Uh, if I've got to climb mountains, I'd rather be able to have that uh, extra low range on the gearbox. So we're going to leave the SnowRunner gearbox in this thing, but we are going to head this way with the six cylinder and let's cross our fingers, guys. Let's hope for a trouble free mission here, a trouble free job. Actually, we're going to go this way, I think. Where is it? There it is. I'm going to go this way first. Take this little shortcut through here. Because this takes us over to the fuel station. Uh, I, I just feel like every drop is going to count. So I'm going to go get fuel. Top off the fuel before I head to the damn mountains. Because I feel like every drop is going to count when it comes to, uh, did I go the right way? I don't remember this. Did they change it? Did the map change? This was not like this, guys. The map changed with the update. No, damn it, it's not that. I'm an idiot. I just went the wrong way. Okay. Scratch that. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, that last update, uh, the update yesterday changed the map, but now I'm just on the wrong damn road. So that's my fault. That was a real deep to D moment, right? <laughs> you guys are probably like, what an idiot. All right, guys. At any rate, good God, we've already burned five liters of fuel. Yeah, we're... We're so screwed. Jesus. We are so screwed when it comes to uh, getting over here. Yeah, even in two-wheel drive, it's just really thirsty. Yeah, we are absolutely screwed when it comes to doing this whole mission without running out of freaking fuel, I think. So, uh, crap. I guess we just do what we can, right? And, uh, do what we can, and if we run out, we run out. 
we run out, we'll send something over here to put fuel in it. As far as I know, the only thing that should have changed on the Xbox version, or well, yeah, Xbox, PlayStation got, whoops, uh, PlayStation got quite a few bug fixes, so if any of you guys are on PlayStation, tell me how well it's working out for you, but as far as I know, the only thing that yesterday's update should have done to the Xbox was they added in the early phases of steering wheel support. So uh, you can start using a steering wheel to drive with. Um, none of the other stuff that we're looking forward to, like, you know, the Phase 1 DLC and trucks and maps and things like that. None of that stuff, you know, none of that stuff's ready yet. It's all still on the test phase on a, a PC test server. You'd be surprised, by the way, guys. You... And maybe some of you are the ones. But it, it surprises me to see how many people are in the groups complaining and throwing little crybaby temper tantrums because the test server is only on PC. Like, they only need it to be... They don't need a test server on every platform, guys. Like... Why... Why are people whining so much because the test server is only on the PC? You guys don't like us console guys. You only only give the test server to the PC guys. That ain't got nothing to do with not liking the consoles. They like us just fine, guys. I mean, I wouldn't like us the way console people whine and cry all the time. But it has nothing to do with whether they like you or not, guys. It has to do... They, they only need the test server on one platform, and the PC is the most capable platform. So, of course, that's where the test server goes. On the most capable platform. Quit whining. Like, that's all I'm saying. Just quit whining. Quit getting in the Facebook groups and showing your ass because you're mad that you play on Xbox or that you play on PlayStation and the PC got mods first. Yeah. Of course the PC got mods first. PC has had mods for decades. It's easier, guys. Come on. It's easier to put that stuff on a more capable platform. It'll make its way down. Just be patient. Let the developers have time. Just be patient. Let's enjoy the game that we got. And be patient. And be patient. And I... Uh, Maybe I should probably mention the last thing is be patient. It'll it'll happen. Am I looking forward to the new trucks that they've got on the test server? Fuck yeah. Yeah I am. But I'm not gonna throw a fit about not having them yet. Let them test them. Let them do the test phases and and let them do their thing and, and then we get it when we get it, you know? Why am I going so dang slow? Man, I really don't want to kick this thing in four-wheel drive and start burning buttloads of fuel, but man, it's just barely crawling up the up the hill in two-wheel drive. Oh well, we're not burning much fuel. Well, now we are. Come on, burn less fuel, damn it. Man, it's getting hot in here, guys. My air conditioner froze up. It's getting hot in here. 91 outside. My dang air conditioner froze. I gotta thaw it out. Kick barrels. We gotta figure that out. What they're talking about? Kick barrels. That's an interesting new uh, concept here for me. I like to actually get out of my truck and kick a barrel. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do over here? You know what I mean? Doop dee doop dee doop. It's a slow drive, guys. Uh, why 
I'll tell you one thing, when it gets hot like it is right now, I get really sleepy. Like, I could just take a nap right now. Let you guys listen to me snore for a couple hours. <laughs> what do you think, guys? You want to listen to me snore? Like, if y'all see me veer off the road and just, like, stop moving, I probably fell asleep, just so you know. Doesn't help either that I've got a heater on my air conditioner, like facing, blowing on my air, like a little space heater. I got a little heater blowing on my air conditioner to thaw the damn thing back out. So that doesn't help it cool off in here, Andy, that's for sure. But I am looking at buying a house with my wife soon, and all those air conditioning. Uh, problems won't be uh, relevant anymore because if I'm no longer renting I can purchase what I want instead of like use what I'm provided I guess anyway that's ah, neither here nor there that ain't got nothing to do with snow runner right damn it I've already used eight liters I'm not even over here yet guys I'm starting to get nervous like I don't even know if I'm halfway. I don't even know if I'm halfway there yet, and I've already used eight liters, guys. Uh, dang it! All right. I think I'm gonna look at the map here in just a second and see if I want to cut through. Where am I at? Where am I at? I haven't even. God, I haven't even made it to where the rock slide was yet, have I? Oh yeah, I have. Man, I'm for okay. I'm, I know I know where I'm at, but I'm further along than I thought I was. I kind of went a direction I didn't mean to go too. I'm, I'm a little further, definitely a little further than I thought though. But I know this little that little parking spot back here. Woo wee! Let's uh, make the audience dizzy. Alright, what the hell? Did you see that? I ran over that tire. My tire, I guess it was spinning and it threw that stick. Alright, I'm going to stop right here for a minute. Let's look at the map. Okay, yeah. Whoop. See, I meant to cut through here. But I don't think it really would have done me all that much good. Uh, I guess it would have a little bit. Alright, we're going to... Mind you guys, my map always faces north. Uh, I, I need to point that out. Maybe in every video, point that out. My map always is oriented north is up. So, I need to just head up like I'm going to the factory, except for hang a left right here. And then, basically, I need to act like I'm going after this watchtower, it looks like. Man, that looks like it's on the damn mountain. Like, that looks like it's on the rocks. I do not like that at all. Alright. Carry on. Ten liters down, and we are... Gonna start using a lot of four-wheel drive. Which is then gonna burn a shit ton of fuel, which is gonna suck. What do you guys think? What are the odds? Let's take a bet here. No cheating. Now watching the end of the video before you answer. What do you think are the odds in percentage form that something desperately bad happens? Roll this truck off the side of the mountain. Something bad happens. And I've got to try to come over here with a top heavy ass international sky. And I don't mean run out of gas. That don't count. What do you think of the odds of something really actually bad happening? And I've got to come over here with the scout and try to rescue this truck with the International. Like, I'm giving it like a 60% chance. Maybe 70% with what I'm seeing. Shit's up on top of the mountains and shit. Uh, you know, with seeing that nonsense, I'm giving it like a 60 to 70% chance that something really bad's going to happen here. Uh, it is daylight, though. With daylight... My chances of uh, success are a little bit better because I usually make my mistakes in the dark. 
I really do. I usually... You guys have been watching the videos. You guys see the stupid crap that happens when it's dark. I just, like, flip the trucks over. Can't see a dip in the road, and I just fucking hit it. Back into it. Back down a hill. Whatever. I do really stupid crap when it's dark. Come on, truck. Please get up here and don't burn any more gas or all your gas. I don't know, I feel like this is a case where the locking differential would really come in handy. Because I could keep it in two-wheel drive to save fuel, but I could climb the hills a lot faster. By not spinning the hell out of a tire, I could climb the hills faster. Which would then actually save a little bit of fuel. But, we ain't got it yet. We will head over to its location. Uh-huh. We will eventually be heading over to Smithville and hunting down the uh, locking differential for this. But right now we don't got it. Now that didn't do no damage. I am surprised, honestly. Okay, if I'd been smart I would have brought a fuel trailer with me, you know what? We have the money. I should have bought a little fuel trailer and drug it over here. Alright, here we go. Up the hill. I get up the hill, I'm probably going to stare at the map for a minute and try to figure out what the heck it is I want to do. Alright, let me see. I'm not up the hill yet. Come on, get up the hill. I'm saving, I want to save gas. Alright, smart thing to do would have been to put one of them little blue markers on the first one, right? Kill the engine. Let's look at the map here. Let's. Oh, we're right by it. Look, it's right there next to us. Ba bloop. So we are right. We are right next to it, guys. So gimme. Let me see here. Man, that really is on the rocks. That's very uh. That's very, very much on the damn rocks, so... Holy crap! Yeah, it is. How in the hell... Alright, how the hell is that supposed to work? For real, come on. Are you serious? Alright. Let's go figure out how this is, like, way freaking easier than I think it is, and then feel stupid. That's what we're gonna do. Alright, um, I see barrels, how do I get on top of rocks that are taller than the truck? Oh, we're going up a hill, the rocks are getting shorter, still no way to get up there, let's see, maybe down here, ooh, well, um, that still doesn't look very promising, but this seems to be the best the best place to try is right here, it looks like. Alright, let's, uh, oops. Oh, yeah! Look at this! Really? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is cool. Do it in two-wheel drive if you can, truck. I really don't want to burn the fuel. Okay. So what do we do? Do we just run over here and hit them, I guess? Like, is that all we got to do is just hit them? Oh, yeah. That's it. We just hit them. 
Yeah. That's pretty anticlimactic. You know, a smart guy before doing this mission or task or whatever the frick it is, a smart guy would have put an autonomous winch on this truck. Because I do foresee a rollover in my near future. Alright, there we go. We got off of that one. Alright, the first one wasn't too bad, right guys? So... Let's kill this thing. Let's find the second one. Uh, okay. What? Basically, looks like I need to go through here. Okay, this looks pretty. This looks pretty reasonable. Oops. Sorry again. I apologize. I moved the camera. Okay, I see the barrels. I moved the camera around a lot because I really, really like to see what's going on all around my truck, you know, to avoid a situation, if I can, if I can avoid situations I like to. Oh, come on, get up the hill. Come on. Okay. Woohoo! Come on, easy. Sorry guys, I'm uh, like really focused right now. I'm trying not to break my focus here by talking too much because uh, Damn. This is not... Not what I call... Entertainment. Like, the people that are calling this their local entertainment, like they enjoy doing that, that they're, they're out of their damn minds. Alright, All right, let's pause. I really... Oops. Map! Uh, ho! How am I going to get to that one? Ooh. Okay. Uh, the guys that are calling this entertainment are out of their damn minds. How am I going to get to that one, guys? Okay. Um, there's an opening in the rocks right there. Let's get to that and then see what we see. Got two out of the five guys. That's forty percent, right? We're we're playing. We're rocking. We're rocking this shit. We got forty percent of them already. Okay, there's the opening in the rocks. That is not much of an opening. Okay, well, that looks like a lot more of an opening on the damn map. All right, pause. Kill the engine. I need to go to the right. Where the hell are they? Where the hell's Alpha? There's Alpha down there. Um, let me put a little mark here and see if I can even see it. Oh. Okay. Boy, guys, I'm not sure about this. Okay, no biggie. Easy enough. Okay, look at that. Easy, easy, easy. It just looked worse than it was because it was in between these rocks and I couldn't see it. Alright, guys, that's three. It's three out of five, guys. That's something, right? Alright, this one here. Um, 
I wish I could zoom in further on this damn map. Well, let's just put the mark here. I didn't even have a four-wheel drive coming down to this one. That's a uh, pretty good indicator of how easy that one actually was. I didn't even use four-wheel drive to get it. Alright, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. Don't roll. No, don't roll. Damn rocks. I hate those damn rocks when they almost make me roll. <laughs> Rock and roll. Alright. Woo! Here we go. I see the... Uh, oh, I see it right there in front of me. See it? Dead ahead, guys. We're about to have four out of five, guys. This may be... Uh, this may not be so bad. So far, so good, right? Four out of five. Okay, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. We've got three out of five. We're going for number four. Oh, boy. That looks like it leans a lot right there, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, truck. Be good. Get up on these rocks. This ain't too bad, actually. I'm, uh... I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Um, am I in it? There. Now I'm in it. Alright, guys. Let's get back on the paved road. Nope. 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 That was a big nope from me. Alright. There we go. said paved road. I meant the road, not the paved road, because it's not paved, it's dirt. Alright, we're leaning a little more than I want to be. Is that the opening? Yeah, there's the opening. Okay. We get through this opening and we're golden, guys. We're back on the road and then we can uh, regroup and figure out how to get to that last one. I wish that last one looked easy. It looked like the easiest one of the bunch. Alright, now... Where was it? Okay, yeah, there it is. Right there. Dude, that, like, it legit looks like the easiest one of the bunch. Because we just gotta go down, take a right, head back east. There's a trailer there. Head back east, uh, go through a little bit of water right here, and then it's right there. So let's do it. Here we go. And we still have over a half a tank of fuel, so we're actually doing better than I thought. I was a little bit nervous for uh, no reason. No reason at all. Whew, forgive me guys, I gotta get a drink. Hold on. It's like really hot in here guys, I'm sorry. It just really, uh, sucks right now. No air conditioner. Alright. I actually didn't get much out of that. I need to go refill it. But, this job's almost over. I'll refill it after the job. Ooh, we're tasked. It's not a job. It's not like we're hauling something for somebody. It's just a task. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. You know, we need to... Holy shit so muddy over here I can't even go downhill how the hell am I supposed to drag that trailer I see it right in front of me how the hell am I supposed to drag that trailer out of there if I can't even drive downhill in this mud oh boy all right how far away is it uh, 357 meters Ooh, doggy I am not liking how muddy this is guys uh, yeah yeah, you can't even move in two-wheel drive. Three thirty. Get off the damn muddy trail. Let's see if the. Oh yeah, we're better off over here. Look, we're better off to get off the trail. You know, sometimes on this game, if you get off the trail, you're just instantly stuck. And then other times, if you get off the trail, you actually have extra traction. Like, it's always a risk. 
But like just then, it was a risk worth taking because look at us now. We're making better progress in two wheel drive to the side of the trail than we were making in four wheel drive on the trail. Although I don't want to flip my damn truck over because I'm trying to be stupid over here, so I better. Maybe I cut to the up oh, four wheel drive. Wow, you see how deep it was? You get in the trail, how deep the mud was? Then you get across the trail and you're fine. Put it back in two-wheel drive and keep keep trucking. Thirty-eight liters of fuel left, guys. Oh, I see the dot. 195 meters. See now it's now it's muddy beside the trail. Which tells me it's probably fine in the trail. Well, I say that, but it looks pretty nasty over there. We'll find out. Well, not too bad. We're making it right now in two-wheel drive. Not too shabby. Oh, cool. That water runs down here. That's cool. I like this. Man, look at the raindrops hitting the water. Why have I not noticed that before? Look at, like... The detail is like the raindrops splashing in the water. It's pretty cool looking. At least I like it. And I don't even have a high def TV. I can only imagine what this looks like on a good TV. My TV is old and cheap. I can only imagine what this looks like on like an LED TV or God forbid a 4K TV. No, leave it four wheel drive, Jack. Leave it four wheel drive. Kind of wondering if I should just go that way, follow the creek. Kind of thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow the creek. Like, what's the worst that could happen? My truck gets killed to death? Like, okay. Literally, worst case scenario, I flood the truck. Send something bigger up here to rescue the truck. We have it. You know, we send the Fleet Star up here to rescue this thing if we have to. Oh yeah, this is fun right here. Now we're now we're cooking with Crisco. Giggity. Yeah. That's how you go play a mud runner, right? Snow runner, whatever. Come on, come on, come on, come on, like six more feet and we can get some money. Babloosh! Oops. Damn it, I went to kill my engine and I did not see how much that gave us. But, I can say we have $49,950 and we are still, good night, we're still 480 stars short of level 8. 480 more stars to level 8. Alright guys, um, crap. Now is that dreaded drive. I really want that trailer. Alright, now is for that dreaded drive home. We'll try to go back up the creek the way I came. They had a good rocky bottom. Because I really want that damn trailer that was sitting over there. I really want that. At least I want to drag it as far as I can. I mean, if I have to leave it because I'm running out of gas, then I guess I'll leave it because I'm running out of gas. But I really want that trailer because that's got to be worth a few dollars, right? What is that trailer worth? Like 3,200 bucks or something? 4,200 or something? I know it's worth money. Dang it. Plow our way through there. The hell with being graceful, we'll just plow our way through, huh? I 
might run out of gas before I ever get to the trailer, guys. I'm burning gas, like, at a really, really high rate right now. Easy. Feel like running at this angle is really gonna bite me in the ass, but trying to stay out of that damn mud as much as I can. That mud is just freaking killer. That muddy trail is just such a killer. I'm trying to stay out of it. Here's where even the side was muddy. Let me get up here on top of the hill. It ought to be a little better. Yeah, it's less muddy when you're up high. The water runs down just like in real life, you know. The top of the hill is less muddy. Come on. 21 liters. somewhere. It was like right here somewhere, wasn't it? God, I'm trying to use my four-wheel drive as little as possible because like, I know I'm about to get over here and hook up to this damn trailer and just flat run out of gas. Know that trailer's worth money and like you know we can use that money to buy trucks where in the world is it i know it's got to be right here oh, i see a house there it is there's a house it's got to be in front of that yeah there's the trailer i see the nose all right That bricks? Oh, hell no. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. We ain't hauling a bunch of damn bricks out of here. Alright, guys. Let's see the best way back to the fuel station. Is... Man, fuel station's way the hell somewhere. Damn! Woo, buddy, look at that. I'm here. The fuel station's way the hell down here. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm screwed. I don't really want to take this road because I feel like since it's a continuation of this road, it's probably going to be just as muddy all the way through here. So I feel like we need to take the trailer up this hill. Maybe down that road and then cut through here. And then just try to run our butts straight to the thing. Uh, That's what I'm going to go for. Uh, might as well do it now, guys. Refuel the truck out of the roof. Uh, okay, we got 58 liters to make it back. So, um, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think we're going to make it on 58 liters? Empty truck, yes. With trailer, I'm not sure. 
if we make it to the pavement, I'll be a lot more confident. Let's just put it that way. I'm already having to use four wheel drive right now. So, yeah. Yeah, that road looks just as muddy. burned five liters and we ain't even up and over the first damn hill yet guys this sucks that's what we're gonna buy with this damn money that we got we're gonna buy a damn fuel truck but we still don't have a fuel truck we have three flatbeds and a high saddle but we don't have anything that's a dedicated fuel truck. Like, we have a couple of scouts that carry some fuel, but we don't have anything that's a dedicated fuel truck. Is that the path? Oh, hell no. I've already passed it. Son of a bitch. See it right there behind me. God dang it. Okay, well, that's all right. That's all right. We are going to go a different route now. We're going to take her straight to the pavement then. We come up and over this hill. And once we're over this hill, it's downhill damn near all the way to the pavement. And once we hit the pavement, we'll go the long way. We'll take the long, twisty, windy way. But it's pavement the whole way, so hopefully, hopefully we can keep it in two-wheel drive and not burn nearly the fuel. That's our goal. Alright, that is the goal. Shortcut sure it's looking good right now. <laughs> 48 liters, guys. We're down by 10 already. Alright. this just to make some money on this damn trailer, you know? Okay, come on. What do you guys think? If we get down to, say, down to like say the final 15 or 20 liters unhook the trailer and just go to the fuel station because if we get down to 15 liters I think the truck can drive depending upon where we are like from right here I think I'd need 20 liters to get to the fuel station but depending on where we are if we get down to like 15 liters the truck should still be able to make it to the fuel station and then come back for the trailer. What do you think, guys? Oh, come on. Don't get stuck right here. This is not what I want. Come on. Climb it. Climb it. And get out of two-wheel drive. Or get in two-wheel drive. 
There we go. Man, these are some big ass rocks. But I really don't want to slow down and lose momentum. Oh my gosh, I gotta use four wheel drive here. Oh god. Come on, we can't afford this. Guys, I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. We're down to half a tank now. We have not gone very far. I really want to get this trailer to my garage and sell it. I really, really, really want the money for it. You know what I mean? Definitely this way. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. Come on. I really, really want to make this quick. I don't want to run out of gas and have to like back and forth. You know what I mean? I'm ready to. I'm ready to stick a fork in this uh, video running out of gas might hinder that a little bit. As soon as I get this video done and start the upload, I'm going to bounce back over to Forza Horizon because that's part of the reason that I've been a little bit absent the last day or so because I've had to uh, I've had to start paying a little bit more attention back to Horizon again because there's a lot of championship prize cars that I need like Toyotas and stuff that I do not have yet that I've been working to acquire on my uh, main profile the profile that I record with here doesn't even have a Horizon game yet uh, what would you guys want? would you guys want me to start a Horizon game and, and Start following me play through that as well in addition to SnowRunner here? Or would you guys rather just wait until like a new game drops since Horizon 4 is like a couple years old? Do you guys want to just wait until Horizon 5 drops which will probably be about another year? Maybe a little more? So do you guys want to wait a year for me to start playing Horizon 5? Or whenever it comes out. I mean, if it came out in a month, I'll buy it in a month. If it comes out in three years, I'll buy it in three years. But my estimate is at least a year. Anyway, do you guys want to see me... Uh, do you guys want me to start a game of Horizon 4? I, I'm not going to put my main profile on the videos. I'm, I've already done so much on my main profile that it would be like dumb to start videoing now after already accomplishing so much. So if I was going to record, it would be fresh with this profile. So do you guys want to see me uh, play some Horizon 4? Do you want to wait for Horizon 5 or Motorsports 8? Which I believe Motorsports 8 will probably come first because it's been longer since we've had a Motorsports. Just comment below and let me know. We're going to make it just fine. We're already crossing the bridge and we've still got 26 liters. Paved road is our friend, man. Once we get to this paved road, we start making ground and we save quite a bit of gas. This damn paved road is our best friend whenever we're low on gas. I 
that's why I'm trying to move fast because the faster I'm moving in a higher gear, the less the less fuel I'm burning per kilometer or whatever. Oh, there's a pole there. All right, we're about there, guys. I see the gas station. I'll just kick it for the drive now. There ain't no way we don't make it now. Oh yeah, 22 liters, look at that. Fill up the truck. And the roof rack. And I think I'm going to take the shortcut. That way we just bounce over here to the garage and call this game done. Take the little shortcut, the one I thought I was on in the first place, when I got all excited thinking they changed the terrain on us. Man, like they've done that to me before though, that's the reason my brain went there, because they've done that to me before. On the bog, on Mud Runner, there was a trail that I used to take all the damn time. Um, it was one of my favorite ways to get to the fuel station. There was a path that I took, a very specific path. And they did an update, and they completely changed the trail on me. Like, the trail that I took no longer existed. And, like, they changed the trails around it and stuff. Like, the bog, they, they changed quite a bit on that map. I don't know. How many of you, uh... How, how many of you that played Mudrunner noticed when they did that? Because... That shit took me, uh, well, that shit took me off guard when they changed it. Now, that's the only map that I noticed a change on was the bog. That don't mean they didn't change some other maps and I just didn't notice. But at the time that they did, that was the only map that I was just, like, blindly familiar with. Just, like, close your eyes and drive all over that sucker map. So that's the only map that I noticed the change on. That don't mean it's the only one they changed. But yeah, that, uh, it definitely caught me off guard when they changed it, though. There's no doubt about that. Well, guys, we did it. We made it over here. We've completed, really, the task that I was the least looking forward to. Now that we're over here, I kind of want to keep the trailer. What do you think? Let's just keep it. Screw it. If we get to a point where we need the money, we'll sell one of these we have two of, you know? But I only have the one of this trailer, so let's just keep it. That way when it's time to move to Smithville, we'll have, like, a ton of crap to move. I promise, I'm better at backing trailers in real life than this, guys. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm just going to leave the truck right here. And I'm going to say that concludes our video. We did, uh, we did local entertainment. And we drug this trailer home that if we wanted to, we could sell and make a little bit of money. But right now, I don't really see the need to right now. Um, not that I expect that I'm going to be using a scout vehicle to haul loads anytime soon. But it is the only scout flatbed that I currently have. Uh, I think what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start selling any and all duplicate trailers. Like that red, uh, what do they call that, a sideboard bed. That trailer, there's two of them sitting right there. Ooh, whoop, there. I think duplicate trailers like that, I'm going to start selling all the duplicates and keeping one of every trailer. Uh, that ought to be another way for us to make a little bit of money to put into buying new trucks. Uh, so until next time, guys, which, by the way, next time, 
super super easy task we're just gonna go get that truck that's stuck in the water watch it end up not being easy watch me putting my foot in my mouth right now but anyway super easy task we're gonna do the drowned highway truck on the next video if you like what you see don't forget to click like comment below tell me what you want to see uh share subscribe all that good shit until next time guys peace out